welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the last few days of September and the first few days of October. So that's the week that takes us from the 28th of September to the 4th of October. And it's a general reading, just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we dive into the tarot, I need to consult the oracle. And um, this is one of the Witchwood oracles, which I will use to draw a couple of cards to see the overall energies of your reading. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious oracle has for you, Virgo for this week that bridges September and October 2020. What messages are here for Le no Virgo? What messages are here for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? This is the Rhyme and Reason cards from the Witchwood Oracle. What does Virgo need to know at this time? So let's see what we have. Let's take a card there and one from that end. And let's see what you get. You have the wheelbarrow. <laughs> it's a card of industry. Good luck may flow, but also drain. Hard work will bring a sure again. So it's about working hard rather than relying on luck. Um, putting the efforts in to get a sure gain. And then you've, all, you've got the coach, a card of travel. What fate or fortune, foe or friend, awaits you at your journey's end? A bit of movement there. So there's travel and industry, hard work and getting somewhere. Maybe it's getting somewhere through your hard work. Well, let's see. Let's see what the rest of the reading shows. So let's see... What's on the cards for Virgo for the week bridging September and October 2020? What messages are here for Virgo for the week bridging September and October 2020? What does Virgo need to know? So this is the five cent tarot, uh, new tarot deck by Madame Clara. So let's see what sort of reading this produces. And I will use um, the four card spread again. The first card being you, the second card being your challenge at this time and um, the third card being an advice card from spirit and then the final card showing the possible outcome. These do shuffle a dream I will say. And then um, underneath that I will put a row of cards as clarification cards. So let's see Virgo, let's see what you get. Oh, you have the five of matches or wands. And your challenge is the knight of needles, the knight of swords. Then your advice from spirit is a page of needles. And the nine of matches, your possible outcome. And beneath that we have the knight of matches. The Four of Needles, Temperance, 
in your advice row. And then the magician. You can do it, you can make it. And you've got the moon here underneath the deck depicting a time of uncertainty. Perhaps you need to draw from your intuition to find answers and um, use your imagination in being able to strategize. But let's see where you are here. You have... So the five of wands depicts an inability to um, for, for people to work together um, in harmony in order to build something up. So that perhaps around you there's a bit of conflict, a bit of rivalry um, that's stalling things, that's sort of disrupting things. The five's energy is always quite chaotic. And underneath that underlining that uh, you know there's something the, the knight of matches or the knight of wands depicts a quest for action adventure wanting to get on with something feeling passionate about something but so perhaps there's something you feel really passionate about you want to move forward with you want to get going um but you stalled by little obstacles that are in your way um, and that could well be arising from an inability for of the people around you to, to work together, to pull together and help you move this forward. So your challenges, um, yeah, the four of needles here yeah, urging, you know, that maybe a need to step back from the heat of the situation and gain a better perspective, a calmer perspective. Get some introspection on how to move things forward. Um, and the Knight of Needles suggests a clear focus. He is um, generally an energy that is very determined, unstoppable. And... Um, with focus and using his intellect, believing in his, his um, righteousness in a situation, moves forward with almost unstoppable speed and focus. So um, there's your challenge to, to get a better perspective on your situation and to be able to move forward with conviction. Yes, and then your advice road temperance is about, you know, getting a sense of balance, tempering your emotions or tempering your actions in order to get the best possible outcome needing a sense of balance and you know a big message in temperance is the patience needed here and um, especially if you're dealing with conflicting opinions and the page of needles suggests Seeking clear communication. You know, I think what the cards sort of say, whatever it is you, you're driving towards um, is a good idea. But it's just a matter of working around with certain conflicting energies or obstacles. And in order to do that, you're advised to hold on to that ambition. Uh, keep hold of what you are desiring because um, the outcome does look like it's, it's possible that it could be really um, fruitious for you. 
but you're going to have to apply some degree of patience and balance and sort of treading carefully through a, a prickly area and um, holding your focus. And swords are all about focus and you've got three here together sort of getting a better picture, uh, view of the picture and resisting conflict. You've got that with the, the Four of Swords as well as with the tempers. Temperance is about, you know, calm, balance. Get a bit of that Zen factor in um, as you remain focused on what you want and move towards it. And I think a big urging here is, is to... Um, communicate with decisive clarity as well. And your outcome, your possible outcome for this shows that, you know, whatever you're working towards, whatever you focused on, is um, possibly going to take a long time to get to. But, you know, something that is a struggle that's worth holding on to, worth going with, because, um, you know, it will require fortitude and persistence. But underneath that, the, the underlining energy is that this is something that, that is really creative, something that you can, you can manifest if you put your intent in the right direction, if you act upon your intent. So you you know you have the willpower here. You have the desire, the um, the desire for action, the desire to bring something about. But you you need to put that into action. You need to focus on it. And you've got another you know sort of card here, the page of needles. You know, intent, intent. You know you've got to put your intent on it and focus on it and build it up, and work with it, and be prepared to stick at it for a long time. Be prepared to take a few knocks because the rewards are worth the outcome. And as I say at the bottom of the deck, you know, this is something that perhaps you're intuitively drawn towards. This is something that could stir your imagination and, um, you know, something that is perhaps something that you're drawn to. So where do your oracle cards fit in here? I think right at the that end for industry, you know, the the ones and well the ones you've got ones at the beginning as well, and that's all about industry, about work and about um, passion and drive. But here you've got card of industry. I think it's going to be something that you're going to have to really be prepared to go for the long haul and to really work hard at because the you know the the possible outcome and the underlining energy is one of of creativity and um, resourcefulness something that you can really manifest and you've got the coach I think you know fits beautifully with the knight of matches this is sort of even depicted by a horse the knight of wands matches are wands in the stick um, you know, perhaps this suggests to me that you could go places with this. This could take you um, to a point where you've been able to create something almost out of nothing. Something quite magical. So that's quite exciting. Or, you know, it's it's not promising a an easy ride, but it's certainly something if you're willing to put the effort in to... Um, face obstacles in your way with calm and um, clear communication and with resolve and um, be prepared as I say to take a few knocks but if you're able to hold on to your passion your dream your desire the outcome is that you can manifest it you can make something out of nothing and that's a wonderful card the magician a wonderful um, card to, uh, to to have at the end of a spread. It sort of shows the ability to, to master skillfully something that could bring about a manifestation for you of what you are aiming for. So there you have it, Virgo. 
I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonated with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. And God bless you till we meet again.